Tom Hunter is a London-based artist born in 1965. Spending his early life studying at the London College of Printing, he later became the first photographer to have a one-man show at the National Gallery in London. Much of his work is displayed on his website in galleries that help to fully tell a story and help to emphasize different important topics and meanings throughout his work. One of his series, titled Dublin Bay Bathing Places, depicts different bodies of water around Dublin Bay. The photograph that I chose to include is part of that series with a metal railing to the right, almost disappearing into the water. The green stairs that are under the viewpoint are complemented with analogous colors in the blue water and the purple sky, allowing for an overall cool tone to the photograph. The low perspective makes me feel small and intimidated as the railing is placed over my head. The setup of the photograph itself leads to an ominous feeling while remaining aesthetically evaluative and interpretive, as the viewer is allowed to come to their own conclusions as to why Hunter set up his camera this way. Another series Hunter presented is titled The Ghetto Series, where the artist presents the living conditions of friends in a squatted community of London Field East, as he lived there in 1993 and 1994. It was titled The Ghetto Series as a local paper described this area as the ghetto, saying it was filled with drugs and crime, but Hunter went for a different feeling. The series was presented as a way to save the community from developers, which ended up being successful as the community itself is still there today. The photograph presented for this series includes a woman seated on her bed in front of a wall covered with posters and photos and next to an open window. Her face, which is lit from the side through the window, is hard and strong as she is making eye contact with the viewer. Her gaze draws you into the photograph and into the situation that she is living in, emphasizing the ethically evaluative meaning behind the photograph. Having the purpose of saving the area, which is supposed to be dangerous by showing how she is living in a home decorated with personal items, is very effective as what someone may see from the outside is not what is seen from the inside, but those in society will very easily jump to conclusions. The final series included is titled Persons Unknown, which is home to one of his most famous photographs, Woman Reading a Possession Order. In this, a woman is captured reading a letter in front of a closed window, with the sun lighting up her face in profile. A baby is also in view, laying on a blue blanket, allowing the red jumper and the baby itself to stand out and catch the viewer's attention. This photograph was inspired by Vermeer's Girl Reading a Letter. Hunter took it in 1997 and tried to mimic the effect of a Golden Age Dutch painting, treating the squatters and travelers as ordinary people, elevating their status above what other people believed they were. This ethically evaluative photograph emphasizes how people think about others in situations different than their own and shows them on an equal playing field. This photograph went on to win the Cobol Photographic Portrait Award in 1998 and helped to change the minds of many people trying to uproot these squatter lives. Tom Hunter's work is extremely interesting as he takes an ethically evaluative approach to many problems that others wouldn't understand and makes a relatable situation, creating empathy and understanding for viewers. Some of the photos are inspired by paintings, but they, are each, but they each are created in order to show a new idea or new concept to the intended audience, as they are not a call for help, but a call to action. I find that many of his pieces are inspiring, allowing the viewer to come to their conclusions, but also understanding something that they had not known a lot about beforehand.